Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to use the GoPro Hero 9 Black as a webcam. Previously you did one on a Hero 7 Black, uh, but this one should be more straightforward and you don't need a cam link. So first of all, you want to open the side panel like so, and that will expose the battery, the memory card, and then that's the USB-C slot you need. So I have a 3 meter cable that I bought separately, plug this part in here and then you want to plug the this cable into your computer and then we're going to have to download some software from the GoPro website and this should make it easy and we should be able to use this as a webcam I will link to the original uh, video I did on the GoPro Hero 7 uh, where I used the cam link to get it working but in this case we should we should be good to go we don't need to have a cam link so that's good okay so let's jump on to my computer okay so i booted up my computer i've got my gopro ready i'm just going to plug that in now and we'll download the software that we need i'll link that down below so you can just go ahead and get that so let me just plug it in okay the next step is to turn the camera on okay so that's now on and then it'll say USB connected on the device itself. So now we need to go ahead and download the software we need. So in this example, I'm using an M1 Mac, uh, but it will work on the Intel Macs and also on uh, Windows. Okay, so I'll link this down below as well so you can have a read. But basically, it's only supported uh, webcam modes only supported from Hero 4 Black and above, uh, but this uh, new method without using the cam link is only supported uh, for Hero 9 Black and Hero 8 Black. Yeah, basically you just need your camera, USB to the cable, your computer, and obviously some sort of mounting option. Uh, I've got a cheap mount that I've um, with a light, which kind of does the job, but um, I can maybe demo that later. We're going to download this uh, webcam desktop utility. So let's go ahead and download it here. Yeah, and make sure your camera is up to date. So I've done that beforehand. Uh, let's go and download this utility. Okay, and then it's saying I need to restart this. So I'll be back in just a jiffy. Okay, so I've rebooted now. Uh, let me see what happens. So we should have this icon in the top corner here. And there we go. We've got to show preview. I presume that means working. And then on the GoPro itself, it will say webcam. And I think it is quite good quality for what it is. Obviously, you can change the settings. I think I've got this on indoor settings. And I'll run through that quickly after as well, so that'll help. Okay, what I was on about before is the settings you need for your webcam, really. So, for example, you can have different ones like bike. So there you go, bike, that's the thing I've used in a video. I will upload that at some point. It will just uh, be a demo of how that looks. Um, but on this one, I've already set it up. You can create new profiles down below, but I've just used the standard one for now and modified it. So let's show, let me show you what settings I've used for a webcam. Okay, so what have we got here? We've got, I've got it set to 5K30, so you might want to change that actually. You want the lens, I'd, I'd suggest using linear rather than these other wide ones. I think it looks the best. Uh, turn hyper smooth off because that affects the quality. Um, yeah, keep keep all that the same. Okay, and then you want to change the bit rate to high. Uh, well, maybe not for a webcam, but if you want to do some decent recording, uh, you might want to do that. But maybe just leave it as standard. But that's up to you. Okay, so the shutter speed I put one over sixty, um, and I set the ISO minimum and max to hundred. And if depending on what like lighting you've got i've got some led lights and i've uh, set the white balance to 5000k 
you want to turn the sharpness down to low uh, and then that's pretty much it you can restore it obviously once you tweaked them out but I, I like that setting um, and you like, you like below here you can add your another profile and then once you've plugged it in you should get good quality um, obviously play around with the settings so like the white balance etc to suit your environment but yeah that that should be it really and um, it should work with like Teams or Zoom or um, I haven't tried it in OBS yet but this should in theory work and then once you've plugged it in you should get good quality um, obviously play around with the settings so like the white balance etc to suit your environment but yeah that that should be it really and um, it should work with like Teams or Zoom or um, I haven't tried it in OBS yet but this should in theory work um, hopefully this has helped some of you guys out I'll see you in the next video and hopefully I might do another one on the GoPro, maybe just with a test of the camera quality itself. Uh, there's an unboxing one. Uh, I'll link to those below as well. But yeah, well, I'm pretty happy with it so far. So, alright guys, see you later.